Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we will watch the installation of an H-frame transmission pole. The part of the installation we'll be watching today is the pole setting itself. We are in eastern Washington. Our participating utility is the Bonneville Power Administration and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now our first task on site here is to pick the pole out of the pole pile that goes at this location. These are 95 foot poles that form one leg of an H-frame construction. I'm going to attach some tackle to it so we can pick this pole up, move it back into position alongside the site. And now using the arm of this boom, pick that pole up, lift it to vertical and swing it around, you'll see that there are two standing poles in the background here. The darker one is the other leg of this H-frame that we're constructing, and the lighter colored pole is simply there to hold up the fiber optic line that has to stay in place as the Bonneville Power Administration is replacing these H-frame poles. You see also to the left of the screen is the ground wire that will be tacked up to this new pole when it's set in place. So we see the boom arm doing the work of pulling the pole around and the guys on the ground are guiding it into place. I'm going to set it down in that pre-dug hole. Our previous video showed how these holes are dug for these poles. And now let's switch to the view of the boom operator himself who's wearing a GoPro camera and you see that he has to keep looking up to make sure he's not crossing that fiber optic line that's still up there and also looking down at the crew to make sure he sees what's going on there and there's constant communication you can see the hand signals on the part of one of the ground crew and you can also hear maybe some of the in the background some of the you'll hear during the video bring it up bring it down Coming up. And in fact, there you go. The operator was just saying he's bringing the pole up. Next, they're going to pound a nail into the center of the pole. This is going to be for measurement purposes. Now, it's just a matter of communication with the crew on the ground to make sure the pole is in the appropriate or correct position. Five inches. And now we're going to measure from the existing pole of the H-frame to the new one that we are setting now. Make sure we have the right distance between. And it is time to start filling in with fill dirt. As they keep the pole in position, continue to fill in with dirt. Coming up. And as you can see here, still making adjustments as they fill with dirt. Up and down. Coming down. Coming down. And we're also going to take a look back up via the operator to see where we are relative to the fiber optic pole in line. And now you're going to see one of the crew pick up what's called a gaff hook. That's a way to grip and spin the pole. You're going to see this white dot called a button come into view right around their hands there on the pole. That has to be oriented correctly in order for the wires to come in right at the top of the pole. And as they measure between the two poles, you see both those buttons oriented the same way. Love it. And our operator pronounces himself quite happy with that alignment, so it's time to fill in with more dirt and gravel. And now just a short uh, shot here of what are called tampers, as they use these devices to tamp down the dirt and gravel around the new pole. Okay, now that the tamping is done, we can take away this boom arm that's been holding up the pole during the whole time, now that it is secure in the ground the dirt all tamped in around it put that away and now what's left is some cleanup around the poles you can see at the base of the poles there's still room to fill in with gravel they are also removing the butt of the old pole 
that will either be sold to a landowner or used in other ways, recycled for fencing or something like that. And as we look back on the crew, they've now moved the boom truck back to load up poles for the next station along the line. And we can look back on the poles that we just set and scan up. You see uh, cleaned up around the base of the pole and then the two parallel poles that will form the H frame and we'll do the framing tomorrow. And as we look back along the corridor where the new transmission H frames will be installed, you have now seen our TND How video on pole setting as part of a transmission pole installation. Our participating utility was the Bonneville Power Administration. We appreciate Wilson Construction allowing us to film their work. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.